Okay, we're back in the truck. Figured I'd give you a little stop there so that uh, my shaky camera skills weren't uh, impeding your view of this beautiful, beautiful valley. The um, forests here are uh, cottonwood. Um, of course, um, pine and I would imagine probably aspen. I don't see any right now. It looks like pretty much cottonwood. But um, like they say, this area is good for um, baling hay. And now you can see why. And once we get up on the uh, other side of the pass through the wet mountains, uh, we'll get a look at the uh, valley that uh, West Cliff and the property that you're interested in uh, looks like. They say the altitude of Wetmore was. We're probably around 7,000 right now, don't you think? Yeah, we're thinking uh, Wetmore, we're probably at about the 7,000 foot level right now in altitude. Like I said, we're starting to come up into the uh, up into the foothills of uh, uh, the Wet Mountain Range right now. There's some aspens off there on that uh, that point coming off this small mountain right here. I don't know the name of it. Yeah, there's um, some uh, new growth starting from what looks like probably a small forest fire. Looks like. It's probably been two or three seasons from what it's looking like. And actually, it might have been. Yeah, this is. Uh, we're entering into the uh, San Isabel National Forest, which uh, this mountain range is part of, and also the Sangre de Cristo is on the. Uh, other side of the uh, Wet Mountain Valley. Quite a bit of scarring along that ridge line from uh, from forest fire, it looks like. 